Hello, my name is Ashley Ellis, and today I would like to discuss a pioneer in sociology, the feminist movement, and most importantly, peace research and studies. Elise Boulding was born in 1920. She was a Quaker sociologist as well as a peace activist. She married Kenneth Boulding, who throughout their lives together worked side by side, pushing towards global cultures of peace. As a Quaker by faith and a mother of five, Elise's work was greatly influenced by her faith as well as her home experiences raising children in an ever-violent world. Elise Boulding's research and principles still live on today, not only through peace research and studies, but also throughout the field of sociology, the developmental studies of the family, and the feminist movement. From having myself studied sociology as well as being a mother, I see the value that Ms. Boulding's works still contribute to our daily lives. Ms. Boulding played a vital role in the founding and growth of many peace-promoting associations as well as institutions. From the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom, the International Peace Research Association, and the United Nations, Ms. Boulding's Ms. Boulding pioneered the peace research movement. One of Ms. Boulding's main goals throughout her work was to push for the emergence of a more peaceful generation. She noted the key role in not only influencing our own generation, but to educate the following generations from an early age. Through her experience in sociology, Ms. Boulding strived to enhance the relationship and understanding between parents and their children. She noted the importance children have in the peacemaking process and that we as parents and even other adults should recognize that value. Ms. Boulding taught that children should learn from a young age not only respect for their fellow human being but for the environment that they live in. She stressed that ecological respect played a vital role in teaching peace. Ms. Boulding strived for parents to teach their, te teach their children these values practically through everyday life to ensure the impact of those learning experiences. Throughout her life, she published many articles and studies explaining the importance of raising the coming generations to not only be nonviolent and compassion, but to be able to work through struggles thinking clearly as well as critically. Ms. Boulding is also known for her great strides, strides in the feminist movement. She recognized the important value women hold in the peacemaking process at home as well as globally. Ms. Boulding, Boulding noted the vital roles women play at home through listening as well as patience and having key roles in promoting the next peaceful generation through their children. She recognized the inequality of global influence and pushed for women to separate themselves from the past ideals and strive to play a more vital role in the peacemaking process. Through her studies of other countries, Ms. Boulding recognized the positive influence more female involvement can make in the push towards global peace. She believed that women could hold the key in foreign relations, bringing a useful set of skills to strive for global peace. While focusing on family and feminist strives for peace, Ms. Boulding also worked on concepts and principles on how we as a whole could achieve global peace. These concepts were called the cultures of peace. Cultures of peace not only focused on daily accomplishments and making peace a daily process, but also on the broader focus of achieving global peace. Her concept for cultures of peace included the recognition of peace in our past, tolerance, and peace education. Ms. Boulding noted the importance of recognizing, even though our history is plagued with violence, that we should recognize the value of peace that grew throughout these times. Through the ongoing growth of families and human creativity, Ms. Boulding noted that even in the most violent of times, peace did strive. Ms. Boulding concluded that tolerance was key in striving towards peace, both in our daily lives as well as globally. Through tolerance and listening, through tolerance and truly learning to listen, we could strive towards global peace. Elise Bowling was most notably known for her contributions to the emergence of peace studies. She noted the importance of education in the peace process to truly make change in our world. She always stressed that no matter your age, your sex, or your social status, that you play a key role in the peacemaking process. 
Tolerance was a key component in Boulding's concept to achieve peace, and she explained the importance of truly listening its, and its vitality to true, towards true tolerance towards cultures of peace. Elise Boulding was a pioneer in her field and accomplished many things, including countless publications of books and articles, a Nobel Peace Prize nomination, and the holding of some of the most influential roles in some of the biggest peace-promoting institutions, as well as associations. Even after Elisa's passing in 2010, her teaching and ideals will live on through educational as well as peace-promoting associations. Elise Bowling has taught us in the importance of raising a nonviolent generation, the importance women play in the, key, in the peacemaking process, and the guidelines to strive towards global cultures of peace.